good evening friends i hope you are all doing well today i am going to show you how you can install mysql into aws so i have written an article into my website if you wanted to read this article just uh, go here the link will be given in the description now i am in my uh, ec2 dashboard so i'm going to create a new instance and install the mysql over there so let's get started first i'm going to click the launch instance here uh, this is the new layout so uh, this is very simplified one page you give to give the name let's say i give the name mysql server you need to choose the os i'm going to choose amazon linux 2 instance type t2 micro this pre selected i'm going to use as it is then key pair uh, i'm going to use the existing one uh, i have previously created that if you haven't created any key pair just click this button to create a new one then on the network settings uh, i'm going to use an existing uh, security group but if you do not have any existing security group you should just use the create new one so um, others we keep it as it is in the advanced section let's go here i will keep everything as it is just only to change the iaf instance profile if you click here you should see all the IAM roles that has been created for each instance. I have created this previously, so that's why it's showing. If you see no uh, role is popping up in this drop down, that means you haven't created any role. In that case, you need to go to IAM and roles, and you need to create a role for the EC2 with SSM full permission. I have shown that into my other videos, so I'm not going to show that again. All other things you can keep as it is. Uh, termination, termination protection. It's better if you click enable it so that you cannot delete it by accident. You have to be giving your concern when you try to delete that. It's helpful to avoid accidental deletion. So if this is the summary, let's create the instance. Let's go on view instances. Um, I'm going to my blog and here I have written all the steps. You can just literally copy and paste, but I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to sudo yum update. Then I'm going to install the MySQL server. For Amazon Linux 2, you have to install MariaDB server. Why? You have to ask them to AWS because this Amazon Linux is maintained by AWS, so they should better know. But you, uh, you need to install MariaDB. So um, then we are going to uh, start the MariaDB. We are going to enable it MariaDB. If you enable it, that means it will automatically restart if you reboot the server. And then we need to run this secure installation. So. I hope uh, our instance is ready now, so I should be able to run the commands. Click. So uh, let's go from top. I'm going to copy this line. Copy. And I'm going to paste it. This will update the YAM packages. Uh, make sure we have all the latest YAM repo list. This might take around uh, one minute time, so 30 seconds or one minute. So while it's uh, updating, let's copy the next command. As I told you, you need to run this command for Amazon Linux 2. So if you wanted to try MySQL server, it will not work. Remember, it will not work for Amazon Linux 2. For Amazon Linux 2, you need to install sudo yum install minus y MariaDB server. So MariaDB is exactly equivalent to MySQL. It is just maintained by a different provider. So 
So let's paste it. So this is the MariaDB server. Installation is done. Then I'm going to start the MariaDB server. Command is simple sudo systemctl start. Then I'm going to uh, enable it. Then I'm going to run the security installation. So um, when you run this security installation command, it will ask you some questions. So let me explain. First, it will ask you if you have any root password. At this moment, none, because this is the first time. So press enter. Then set root password. It is asking whether you wanted to set a root password. And the answer is yes, because at this moment, there is no password is there. So new password. So give a new password. I'm going to type my new password here. Retype the new password. Remove anonymous users. Yes, I want to remove anonymous users. Disallow root login remotely. So this is a security feature that uh, you cannot log in as a root from outside. So that means you have to log in the root user from only to, from this server. So that's yes. Remove test database and access to it. Yes, I don't want any test database. Reload privileges tables now. Yes, I want to reload that privileges table. So that's it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, run this command. MySQL user root password. Ask for the password. So this is the command explains that dash u, that means user root and dash p that means password and the password you will be given at at the prompt so if i press the enter it will ask for the password so give the password that you have given previously and that's it so you have successfully logged into the uh, mysql server and uh, let's see what databases are there but initially so show databases then i'm going to create a new database that is uh, create schema uh, attic so uh, one row affected that means one database is created i'm going to now see the databases so there's my new database i'm going to use that so show tables there is no table and now you can create new tables add new data blah 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 so the idea is we wanted to set up a mysql server to an ec2 instance and that has been done we can log into that ec2 instance we have uh, enabled that ec2 instance so that it automatically restarts when you reboot the server so why do you need ec2 instance set up in uh, ec2 because it's cost safe cost saving so if you wanted to use RDS, RDS is a managed service and it is slightly uh, more expensive than EC2. For example, if you wanted to compare T2 uh, or T3 medium and RDS T3 medium, you will see the price difference. That's quite a lot. So if you have a requirement where um, the price is more important, then all those features that RDS offers, then that's 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 great. You can use this uh, EC2 instance process and set up all those databases and use that from your other EC2 instances. But if uh, if you uh, if your application is very mission critical and uh, all those features that is provided by the um, RDS like uh, replica read replica data set point in time restorations, those kind of features is not available in this uh, installation. So remember, it is cost beneficial, but it has some drawback that you need to manage everything. You can manage the backups. Uh, you, you have to set all those uh, scaling processes. 
everything you need to manage by yourself. So if that is not a big concern, then I would suggest you to use uh, EC2 for setting up or using MySQL. But if your application is mission critical and uh, you want to give them the best possible solutions, then I would suggest to use RTS. It is slightly expensive, but it has a lot of features that you cannot manage it via these normal installations. So I hope that helps you to uh, grow your career. So I'm done with this setup. Now I'm going to delete that uh, process. So please remember, delete the instance if you are just doing it for testing purpose. So oh, you see, I cannot uh, delete that instance because uh, I have set up the termination protection. So what I have to do is uncheck this termination protection, save it. And now I can delete that. So terminate instance. So that's it guys, I hope this helps you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video, that would really help me to uh, uh, grow my videos uh, in the YouTube algorithm and a lot of other people who are searching for these kind of solutions, tutorials, they will uh, reach, they will be uh, helpful for this. Thank you, have a nice day, bye bye.